and welcome to another edition of Data Center Pulse on the Road. Today I'm in Stockholm, Sweden, and I've got uh, Thomas and Thorbjorn with me. They're with the uh, Invest in Sweden and the Invest in Stockholm Agency. And we're going to be talking a little bit about data centers inside of Sweden. So guys, tell me what you do. We work with helping foreign companies evaluate Sweden and Stockholm. Is it right for them? Mm -hmm. What is the business potential for them in Sweden and in Scandinavia? Okay. Uh, is there a market? Is there some way for consolidating their business into saving money, finding new markets, finding talent? That's basically what we do. Got it. Okay. And you're sort of specifically in Stockholm, um, right? Is that the capital of Sweden? It's the capital of Sweden. Got it. Sorry, my, my geography is not that great. So, <laughs> but how about yours, Tom? Well, ours is the national uh, mission of attracting foreign direct investment to Sweden. So uh, we want to attract companies within different sectors, one of them being ICT. And right now we're over working very much with the data center uh, product. We feel that there is a big opportunity, there is a big need for data centers. Okay. And thus we're focusing on that market. Right, okay. And just so folks understand, the reason that this is interesting to me is I'm out here and I was speaking with a number of the different companies here, uh, some of the utility provider and the innovators, right, as far as what technology is developed in, in Sweden, specifically down here in Stockholm. Um, and, but from a data center pulse perspective, uh, these guys don't try to sell you anything. What they're trying to do is incentivize people to come over here because it seems like it's a really good environment to build data centers, but you don't make any direct profit out of this stuff, right? You want other people to invest and build up and do whatever they want here. So tell me why, why Sweden in general is a good location to locate a data center. Well, for us, this was almost a surprise also. We were approached by a number of consultancy firms maybe 18 months ago. Uh, having clients looking for new locations for the data centers, and we didn't really have an experience in that field. Right. And, and there's uh, another customer calling you. Yeah, <laughs> right now. How convenient. <laughs> wow. wow. But yeah. they had a set of questions, you know, is there energy, is prices of energy, you know, climate, things. And, and mm -hmm. the more we worked with this area, we saw that Sweden seemed to tick all the boxes that was important for a data center operator. Mm -hmm. So we said, wow, this is something we could work with. It's, it's, it's a great product. We have something to offer. And now we're out more knocking on doors, telling that, sure. you know, you can do something here in Stockholm. We can help you save some money, yeah. be more green. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Okay. And in general terms, you could say that Sweden doesn't work very much with incentives. Dean. We work rather than making sure that any investments that are made here in Sweden, uh -huh. that they should be... Uh, valuable and profitable the to right the sound, clients. sound right? decisions yeah. for yeah. where they would want it's to It's a look business at. decision, yeah. right? So we just want to display the facts for the investors and make sure that they know all the facts. And okay, that, that so let, let's talk about those business drivers then. I mean, what are the key points that would say, I really need to have a data center in, in Sweden? What are they? Well, I think uh, free cooling, okay. large part of the year. And that's because of the temperature within this region. The climate right? is perfect for data centers. Okay, and what is that climate? What temperatures do you normally have? I think the average uh, during the year is approximately uh, 8 degrees. 8 degrees uh, for, C. for some 8 to 10 months of the year. Okay. The summers are very nice, but the winters and spring and fall are nice and chilly for, for data center use. Okay. So finally we've got some use for that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, but above all, I think we have a very good electricity market here. Very stable, very low prices, uh, amongst the lowest in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, but also the greenest in Europe. Okay, Sweden, so Sweden has a unique position in Europe in terms of Okay, energy. so tell me a little bit more about that position. So as far as uh, why is that uh, power green? The way it looks like right now is that uh, of the electricity produced in, in Sweden, about 45% is nuclear. Yeah. Uh, Forty-five percent is hydropower, uh -huh. and the rest is uh, wind or biofuels. So did so you hear that? That means one hundred percent of the power is green. Yeah, it is right. carbon yeah. neutral. Carbon okay. neutral, yes. Right. So that that's what blows me away on this. I mean, from I can come over here, locate in Sweden, have a data center, and not have a carbon footprint from the utility perspective. Mm. That's right. True. Mm. We can guarantee one hundred percent green electricity to your data center. <laughs> Very compelling. Okay, so um, it sounds to me like you, there's uh, the cost element of it, right? The, it's, it's cheaper power itself. It's green power, so that's a huge piece. And also, um, there's got to be another component in this. Well, I mean, the basic foundation for any data center is the stability of the country, right? Sure. I mean, stability of the country politically, geographically, uh, climate-wise. There are no natural disasters in Sweden. Mm -hmm. uh, and... Um, 
and of course, the um, even the bedrock in Sweden is quite unique <laughs> in its in its hardness. Yeah. So, as a matter of fact, there is a lot of uh, facilities in Sweden that are in in uh, in bedrock uh, data center facilities, communication facilities, etc., which you have seen in the morning, yes, the yes, yes, and and uh, okay. So that means that you don't have any natural disasters here, right? No, actually, we went on a website that the UN runs uh, that keeps track of a natural disaster yeah. during. You can go back actually back into 1890s or something like that. And I did a search on that one, and I came up with Sweden searching for death by natural disasters in the last 120 years. 37 people. 37 people in 37 120 people. years, right? I think we had that last week in yeah. California. So, <laughs> well, great. Guys, I really appreciate you taking the time. So just to summarize, it looks like Sweden has clean and green power, 100%. It is very inexpensive when it comes to uh, where it's located. There's no natural disasters. And what else am I missing here? Oh, yeah, free cooling <laughs> for almost the entire year, depending on how you design the data center. Mm -hmm. Great. So if you want more information on Invest in Sweden Agency, uh, you can t follow this email address below, and both Thomas and, and Thorbjorn uh, will be able to respond back to you. And thank you again for watching another edition of Data Center Pulse, here on the road.